So problem number five is going to have Excel do a lot of the hard work for us. So it's saying the freshman class at a university got scholarships that was normally distributed. So it means, you know, here. The average, so mean scholarship that was given out, you know, right here in the middle is 3,441. So it's asking us if the full tuition cost was 4,250. So if only, man, the average scholarship is 3,441, but the actual cost that it actually takes to go there is 4,250. What percentage of students who received a merit scholarship did not receive enough to cover full tuition? So basically what we're looking for is the number of students who got scholarships that were below $4,250 because they didn't get enough to cover their tuition. So we are going to type into Excel. We're going to use this formula that you can literally just cut and paste, copy and paste it right into Excel. But it's important that we understand at least, you know, where the numbers came from, right? So you're going to copy this formula in there. Um, you're going to replace the X with that 4,250, so that the amount that we're interested in, okay, that we're trying to figure out how many made beneath that. We are going to replace the mean with, of course, the average scholarship, so that 3,441. We are going to replace this little guy because typing just isn't doing standard deviation for some reason. In the problem, they told you, oops, I probably should scroll back up there. But they told us in the problem that the standard deviation was $485. They told us that up there in the problem. So I'm going to replace that with $485. And one is just part of that formula. So again, the first number I got was that's the number we're interested in was the percentage of people that were below that number then the mean comes next standard deviation comes next and one is just part of the formula but you're just going to copy and paste this formula in there um, I'll show you what it looks like once you would actually type it in Excel here's a little screenshot so it would look a little something like this in this particular problem and Excel, so exactly like I've shown you before, just type into an empty cell, type in equals normal. We should be, this should be a little bit new, or not too new to us now, because we've done several problems using Excel, and this is what Excel is going to calculate. So you just need to make sure that you round it to the correct, uh, shoot, I forgot what it tells you to round to, but make sure that you round it to the correct decimal.